what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm just about to get ready with you guys i'm not doing too anything well i'm not doing anything special by the way i had my baby so i'm not pregnant anymore first things first how i found out i was pregnant was um i'm gonna get ready with you so i'm gonna try to like talk at the same time but i'm horrible at this so how I found out I was pregnant is obviously the symptoms of missing your period and um, my boobs always hurt when I'm pregnant. So, um, but I, like at first I thought it was just my period because my period does the same thing too. Um, but yeah, I, I missed my period. So that's how I found out. And obviously I went to like um, a clinic and found out it was positive. And oh, I went to a Dollar Tree store first and got the test and then it was positive so yeah that's how i found out um and how i felt was like pissed <laughs> i found out and i was kind of upset but it's a blessing i you know had my little depression thoughts and stuff like that then so yeah my labor and delivery story so like i was literally at home and i was in bed sleep and about 8 49 um i had kept track of the contractions or whatever so about 8 49 i started to i don't know i woke up around eight something and i had a contraction and then i must have had another one and then that's when i started counting so i, I remember at 8 49 i started counting and from then on it was like every five minutes sometimes it would gap in between like 10 7 maybe 15 minutes so sometimes like i would feel like oh shit like this may not be it because it's a little gappy here but for the, for the most part, it was five minutes. So I felt like we may have a baby today, but we might not. <laughs> so anyways, I called my mom. She came over maybe an hour later. And then we headed to the hospital. And sure enough, I was five centimeters dilated. So she, I had my contractions at 8.49. She came and got me around 11. We made it to the hospital. Well, she may have gotten me like around 12 or something. And then we made it to the hospital around 12 something. Um, Cause it's literally like 20 minutes from my house. So either or around that time, we made it to the hospital around 12 something. And by that time I was five centimeters dilated. Then, um, so they admitted me obviously they didn't let me go home which i was so happy about like i prayed i was like like today's the day right like please like don't let me go home then um let's see let me see what i'm gonna do with my eyes i haven't worn makeup in forever so i'm super excited about this video um although i don't i don't really do too much anymore my eyes i don't really need it but um so after that you know I, I updated her father um which is my son's father they have the same father um updated him letting him know he should head to the hospital i was seven centimeters oh by the time by the time he got there i was seven centimeters no actually it was more because after like maybe 10 minutes later I started pushing but yeah so I let him know he should come and he made it right before I had to start pushing um, my mom was there like from day one or yeah so she stayed with me um, during that time as well and then I spent the night in the hospital by myself um, of course I had the epidural. I, I don't think I can do it without the epidural. Like shout out to the women who don't have the epidural. Like y'all are some strong ass women. Like baby, when I said them contractions was not, that's like not something I'm trying to feel. That's not something I'm trying to feel. Like no, no thank you. Y'all can have it. Like shout out to you guys because man, baby but the epidural kind of hurt it this time like i don't know keon when i had keon the epidural didn't ha like i feel like it didn't feel that bad but this time it was like damn what the fuck why it hurt so bad but i needed that so i took it like a g 
I had an epidural and then after like the epidural kicks in like literally the rest of the fucking labor is like a breeze and then I think I pushed maybe four five times and baby girl was here um like my delivery was very quick um I literally was in labor for probably eight hours or yeah so eight 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 yeah she was here at 4 45 that day um so literally eight hour delivery or labor um it was like literally a breeze um and i'm so grateful that both my pregnancies were not as bad as most stories are um but yeah so so that happened and then she was here I we spent the night at the hospital only spent one day the next day I left after having her and I came home L literally that's like my little my labor and delivery story had contractions went to the hospital had the baby at 445 and she was five pounds and 15 ounces and um, 19 inches long um, her brother was six and seven ounces and 19 inches long so she was a baby. She's like a pre much she's like a preemie weight. Um she's wearing preemie clothes right now. Um shout out to Caitlin who said those um preemie clothes. She's like adorable in them. Um because the newborns are like really hanging loose. So but she's gaining some weight. She's eating every two, three hours, mostly two hours. Um I am halfly kind of breastfeeding. Um so I had surgery and I can't really breastfeed very well with my boobs. I get some milk, um, but not a lot to feed, just just feed her breast milk. So I, I kind of mix it in with the formula. Um, so that is that. Let's see here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, in my hospital bag, I really didn't pack anything. Well, I packed my, like literally, I packed clothes. I packed, I have my list. <laughs> I have my list, what I have. I packed my robe. Literally, I was in my robe the whole time. My robe, I packed, you know, go, clothes, obviously for, I thought I was gonna stay there for three days. So I packed three days worth of clothes, but I only stood there like for the night. Um, I packed like my sandals so I could take a shower, um, toothbrush, obviously, like all my like toiletries. I had chapstick. Chapstick is like my life. I always have chapstick though. Um, and then what else did I bring? Deodorant, obviously, like all the toiletries. Um, and then for her, I just bought her some clothes, um, you know, diapers. They already gave you diapers. And stuff like that and um i bought like a swaddle blanket for her but they mostly she was swaddled in the hospital um blanket until like the day we had to leave obviously we bought her car seat and stuff like that literally i bought like my phone charger i bought my 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 laptop um to watch tv um obviously pack your you know your insurance and stuff like that because they're going to take that first thing um so yeah um literally i packed just the basics i didn't i didn't really pack anything you guys don't really need to pack anything but clothes and like your entertainment your toiletries because they really give you everything and my delivery was so quick and my my visit was so quick like i really didn't use anything i just you know wore one outfit most of the time um, the only time I wore an outfit was to like go home most of the time I was in my robe because <laughs> I was just like so busy with her um, you know feeding her and just bonding with her so I just stayed in my gown and I had my robe over it um, so that's that um, but yeah you guys that's literally it um, Camila is here with us and she's super healthy um, she's asleep right now so that's so that's that she she met her family already we had like a little thing a little dinner with her for her i guess or with her family her other side of the family her dad's side 
so they could meet her um it was overwhelming actually I'm not gonna lie but um i wasn't expecting so many people um to come over and stuff like that but so that's that um i'm sorry like i really thought i was gonna like be there at the hospital longer but i don't know i guess once you have like a baby already like you just you just you got this like you, you know i don't know so it's been really easy i don't i'm really good with babies um and i love kids so um it's just been really like a breeze for me it's nothing like a walk in the park honestly um damn i gotta get that chapter's gone literally i keep chapstick like <laughs> i keep carmax like carmax is my favorite um gonna put some baking we need this but I'm I'm just doing this for the video <laughs> oh god I don't even know I just don't like how messy this is <laughs> this is so messy literally I really want to get like a vanity um at my apartment this is so messy like this is messy girl look at this like if y'all just see my area right now like this is a mess and so today's lashes are going to be these number 102s i'm supposed to be selling these too focus on them there we go so i'm going to be wearing these 102 lashes these are so cute oh i need scissors don't i Oh, I don't want to go get them. I think I kind of went through like a slight post depression, um, but not too much. But I feel like it was because I live alone, like I live by myself, and then I had the newborn, so I kind of felt a, a little lonely. Let me get this off my face. So I think I just, you know, was depressed because I felt a little lonely. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to call it post depression because like girls really be going through some shit like after they give birth, you know. Um, I just felt maybe maybe I just felt like a little lonely and it felt a little too surreal for me that I have another child to, you know, provide for. And so that's that's been my I think that's been my most depression is being financially responsible by myself um and i'm not like one of those baby mamas that you know child support and stuff like that i've thought about it honestly with the second child i was like two children by myself mm, but honestly it won't even be worth it you know i started another business so i can have that second income coming in um and i hope you know my jewelry comes in so i can you know make sure i'm legit with this you know i've been trying to find really good wholesales but yeah um i just hope it all works out for me and i'm able to get multiple incomes you know going hopefully this youtube thing does pop off for me and i'm able to do business ventures within it you know i don't have friends so i'm really a loner um so this is like a, a definitely like a an outsource for me but yeah guys that's literally my video i am pretty much done with my face i told you i don't do much so i don't really do much to my face anymore um so yes so this is my face you guys sorry if my story was a little boring because it really wasn't too much going on that day just you know it is what it is so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the story time and makeup get ready with me little thing i did <laughs> um 
maybe I'll do more of these. I don't know. So make sure you guys just subscribe and like, share, and comment. Um, I love when people comment on my videos. It makes me feel so good. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. Bye.